Heidi ho folks and party people, it's Pete with Backdraft Bikes and welcome to another epic journey to the Green Mountain State. Stick around! Hey, I appreciate you supporting the channel. I do have some new merch in. If you want to wear one of these cool shirts and look spiffy while doing it and supporting a good cause, please check out the link in the description for our merchandise. How's it going? We wanted to bring you up to speed on a nice fall road trip. Unseasonably warm right now for fall in Maine. So the leaves are pretty much off the trees. All the tourists have gone home like the good girls that they are. And uh, now it's time to get out and ride without so much traffic. So today we're going to be going to Waterbury Center, Vermont, which is essentially Stowe, Vermont, which is essentially a super overpriced town in Vermont. But I have a friend that lives there and I want to stop and say hi because he's kind of sick right now. So I'm going to bring him a present and won't that be nice? I have the BMW R1200 GS Adventure loaded up. This is going to be an overnight. We're going to be going up to Vermont and then down to Worcester, Massachusetts. Yes, Worcester is the way you say it. It's not Worcester, Worcestershire, Worcester, I don't know. Um, but anyways, that's where we're going and it's going to be awesome. So I'm looking forward to it. We're going to take some stops on the way and everything but first we got to meet up with you know grandpa 5000 so just a quick update on life in general i absolutely love riding my motorcycle but six months ago i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to ride again because i got some very tragic news that i had a very bad heart condition an aortic aneurysm and most people don't really live through that situation, so I feel very privileged and thank the good Lord above. But the uh, recovery has been a little on the slow side. However, I am in greatly debted to the surgeons down at Mount Sinai in New York City who uh, graciously took my case and helped me out. Big shout out to all those guys down there. Um, I will say, that the feel of getting back on the bike now is <laughs> just so much more. It's so be so much better just because of the fact that I didn't know if I was going to be on the bike again and now here I am and man does it feel good. Also in all my videos I always talk about how awesome whatever motorcycle I'm riding is. Sometimes I complain. Um, I got to tell you I'm still very 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 much in love with the boxer bmw situation that i've been riding now so i rode this for a couple months prior to getting sick and then um, i've been on it now again and i just absolutely love this bike it is so fun to ride it's got power it's comfortable i love the upright riding position just it's awesome so that's all I'll talk about on this trip about how this bike is performing. You can see my reviews on my channel anyways. Just really, really enjoy this bike a lot. It just makes riding such a breeze and to be alive and enjoy uh, the beautiful scenery and life, it's just awesome. So I am not going to be taking any back road discovery route over to Vermont, even though I really wanted to do that. Uh, the gold wing that's going to be coming with me does not like dirt so you know that's okay um this is really my first trip out since recover since uh going under the knife and uh it just feels really good to finally go out and do something i was hoping really to go to canada this year i wanted to actually drive up to prince edward island see my buddy snowbird biker but uh just it didn't work out my health was not there so we're going to do this today. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, baby. There he is in all his glory. Grandpa 5000. With the gold wing that never dies. Have a day. I got the beer in here. He will, he will love this beer. We're going to put it in next to his rope.
So we're gonna go up the Kank. After we get up there, you wanna stop at McDonald's right there and we can figure out the route from there. I had it on my GPS, I don't even understand where it went. Okay, do you want me to go first? Why do you like it when someone else goes first? <laughs> yes, your bud, get a jump start. Yes, your bud, country goods and groceries. And the place I just went to is called The New Deal, bud. Yes, sir. Wicked good. Now let's get going on. I'm riding with my Climb Creos helmet. Creos Pro, I guess it's called. I got a review on my channel of that as well. Shameless plug. I absolutely love this helmet, but the only thing that I struggle with is it fogs up really fast, especially when it's just a little on the nippy side. So I actually bought, I went on the old Amazon there and bought some anti-fog spray, followed the directions on it, and uh, this, <laughs> this thing is awesome now. I can have the shade down, I can breathe normal, and it doesn't fog up, which is cool. So I love it. We're going up to Conway, New Hampshire right now, and we're gonna hit the Kangamangas Highway. Now listen, if you're ever up in New Hampshire, you have to go on the Kank. I mean, that is, it's, it's like the Tale of the Dragon Northeast version. Um, it's not as dragony, <laughs> but it's pretty stinking fun. And it goes through the Mount Washington range of the presidential range of mountains there and you go through i believe it's crawford notch so you get pretty high up in elevation so stay tuned you're gonna like it it's pretty sweet province lake bud right on the border of maine and new hampshire you can only fish half the lake with a main license it's kind of dumb oh well and right up here home to the famous province lake golf course yes sure the people with too much money spend all their time they had a wicked ripa of a fire up here. Uh, a couple, I don't know, last year. Burned the whole clubhouse down. Now they got a temporary deal up. They're gonna have to be redoing it, but it's, it's pretty nice. I hate golfing, I don't golf. I know that's sacrilege. Some people are probably like, blasphemy. Effingham, New Hampshire, yeah. It is E-F-F-I-N-G-H-A-M, Effingham. And this is the center of town, kind of pretty cool. Old town. Love the old farmhouses, used to have one myself. And then I decided I wanted to stop working on houses every stinking day of my life. There's the old school. Pretty cool. Off a layer. It is so warm. I think it's November 8th and we're at 70 degrees. It is insane. There's Conway's finest, Bob. Yes, yeah. Good guys that work there and some girls too. Shout out to the men and women of Conway, New Hampshire Fire Department. All right, Grandpa 5000 is taking the lead right now. Um, Apparently, I was driving too fast or too slow. I'm not sure because he nor he doesn't like to go in front. So now he's taking the front. He said, I'll lead up to McDonald's, bud. So we're going to get on the Kank. Kangamangus, as they call it. Kank. Some people say Kangamanicus. That's not the way you pronounce it. It's Kangamangus. Okay. And there's 32 miles with nothing. So they always say, you better get gas now, bud, because you're going to run out. It's going to be had up. See, this is the last, this is the last store before you get into nothing. Oh, and then there's this other place here called Cheese Louise. Cheese Louise. And I guess they sell like a bunch of uh, grilled cheese iterations, and I've heard it's very good. I have to stop there and try it sometime. That is right above it, right in front of us there is Mount Shakora. And again, there's another alternate pronunciation. People say Chakoroa or something like that. I don't know. It's Chakora, and this is the Kangamangus, okay? the move 
even pass this car. I'd like to play. I'd like to point out the license plate on this car. It's a handicap plate, and it says 8 p.m., which must be the bedtime of those people. It was uh, 70 at the bottom, and I'm just about at the top here, and it's 58 degrees. I feel it drop right off. I love it. I've driven this road in the wintertime, not on a bike, obviously. It's funny, at the bottom you're driving, and you know, it might be misting rain. You get up here, it's like a blizzard. <laughs> you can't see anything at all. In fact, if you look, the markers have sticks on them. They take like saplings and put them up. Uh, so that if it snows too much and it's too big of a drift, they can see where the edge of the road is when they're plowing. Pretty awesome. Loon Ski Mountain. Kind of a cool place. They got a they got a chair that I think will fit eight people, and it's heated. <laughs> uh, they also have a gondola too somewhere. Good buddy of mine works there. Always wanted to go ski in there. I haven't had the opportunity to do so. Downtown Lincoln, New Hampshire. Yeah, sure. Got a bunch of cool little restaurants and such like fine dining establishments like subway where you can get the five dollar i don't even they don't even do that anymore grandpa 5000 is in love with mcdonald's i am always like hey why don't we go try something i want my frappuccino ah that's not even mcdonald's <laughs> i don't even know what i'm talking about yes well we're gonna plot out the rest of the route when we get there figure out what we're gonna do You want a chicken nugget? Are you thirsty? What are you gonna get? Ah, uh, frappe. What else? Uh, maybe fries. What else? Yeah. What do you, how do you like your fries? Medium well. <laughs> oh, there's a free orange soda over there. I didn't even notice it. What happened? I didn't get my fries. What did they do for you? Nothing, other than I had to wait and then I got them. Nice. I, I did get some salt because they never come with salt. Um, just a little salt. Oh my! Your doctor called and said, "Hey, this thing is no accident, baby. Right here, <laughs> trophy husband. Mm. Oh, baby. Your blood pressure just went up like twenty points. I'm gonna take two because you're small. Okay. Mm. <laughs> what are you What are you doing? It had no salt. Came out of the other package. So I got to put a little on there. Think like the road commissioner, bud. Yeah, that and a frappe. Ooh, baby. Diabetes and uh, high blood yeah, pressure. Yeah, look at this hunk. I'm just a hunk of hunk of. <laughs> okay, off to the races now. I don't know how Grandpa 5000's insides actually function because the guy lives on Coca-Cola, extra salted french fries, and like pure sugar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if they took a blood test of him, it'd be like, uh, Sir, you're a medical miracle. We'd like to study you. Uh, I told him at the when we stopped, too, I said, Hey, I'm making a movie on this one. He goes, As long as I'm the star. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome. All right, we're going to take, looks like from here, we're going to go up Route 112 to route 302 which are both pretty cool roads no highways and that should dump us right out uh, right over in Vermont this road is so awesome 112 it's like just beautiful there's not a lot of houses it goes through the National Forest again and you're following a brook most of the way, so it's just very, very pretty. A lot of times you do see moose on these roads, so I'm like super keyed in to looking for them. 
would be awesome if we did, as long as it was at a little bit of a distance and I could stop in time, right? Yes, your bud. Welcome to Vermont, the Green Mountain State. Hey, yeah. Vermont's motto is keep Vermont weird. So just be aware of that. Okay. Got it, old boy. You can get her in there. Yes, yeah. This is uh, Wells River. And we're going to stay on 302. Wells River Fire Department. Yes, yeah. Almost there, buddy. We got, it says we got. It says we got 41 minutes. What'd you think of that? 112. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, bud. Yeah, it reminds me of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're funny, Darcy. You're funny. I don't know. What does this button do? That'll touch the button. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving. Here we go. I don't know what town this is, but it's pretty built up. Yeah, you better run. Wait, what town is this? I don't know. Landlaw? Landlaw? Barry. I bet you this is Barry. It is Barry. Raspberry. <gasps> Gotta paint the walkway, bud. Yes, yeah. There's a lot of people here. This is a big town. By golly. Like raspberry. Blueberry. Huckleberry. Dingleberry. Welcome to Stonebud. Yes, yeah. Getting off here. And not that far away from the action in Stowe, so let's go to Stowe, as they say. Haha. <laughs> ben and Jerry's. Which the tour is awful at, by the way. I took it and I was so disappointed. They give you like this little teeny tiny sample. And the guy got like super political too. It was weird. Um, yeah, but that's Ben and Jerry's. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could do it. This is Route 100 in Vermont. No, I don't think any of the locals like Ben and Jerry's either. I think they're kind of done with them. Look at this. We have dirt. Darcy's gonna have something to say about it, I guarantee it. Ah, you got dirt on me. My gold wing. My mobility scooter. <laughs> a lot of the roads in Vermont are like this. They're dirt roads uh, that go to the people's houses off the tar. It's kind of cool. This lady's gonna yell at me. Hello. Yeah, don't even wave, that's fine. I hit you with your cane. All right, I got what I needed. And I am hitting the road now. Next stop, we're going to try to stop by a fellow YouTuber's new business adventure on roasting coffee. And uh, I'm not quite sure where it is or even if it's open, but I'm like, we're in Stowe, so we have to go check it out. Downtown Stowe, a bunch of little cool shops and restaurants places to entirely empty your wallet in the summertime this place is bussing it is so busy i mean just it, it take i probably take last time i came through i think it took me like 45 minutes to get through this little section and right now i mean we're way outside of the peak time and it is still very busy cool check this place out I don't know if anybody's even around. I'll find out. See if these guys were here. Uh, they run the nomadic movement and they're opening this place called The Roastery. And they have a website, morningmovementcoffee.com, I believe. Uh, they have a really cool channel though. I really enjoy their videos. They give me a lot of inspiration for things to do around my homestead. Uh, but they're not here. Just a guy working on the boiler. So no coffee, oh well. We're gonna go over to the Shed Brewery now 
and see what's up over there. Let's rock. Find those guys there. It's just a cool story. They started out up here in Maine. Uh, they bought like a old YMCA bus and they drove it all the way down through Central America. Uh, just camping out and it. it's just a cool story you know when I was laid up there I, wa I ended up watching a lot more of their videos because I was just watching TV for weeks on end and yeah it's just really inspire inspiring to see people you know make a go with stuff you don't have to have money a lot of money to be successful and still have a good life so it's pretty cool so we'll head back up here now the place we're going to go to is called Idle Time Brewing, but it's actually the creators of my favorite beer on the market right now. Besides for La Fin du Monde, which is up in Canada, this place makes the shed. We're there yet? Almost there, Darcy. Can you hold it? I'm holding it. I just put a beer in. <laughs> hey, what is this? What does that button do right there? The button? Idle time brewing. What do you think, Darcy? Uh, I need a Coke. No beer. Coke? No beer. Yeah, man's drink. <laughs> hey, do you want to sit outside? Yeah, but I don't want to drink beer. And I don't want to be by any of those winos over there. <laughs> Anything else we can do for you? I need some uh, pretzels. That wouldn't hurt. Okay, let's go. I got some. Oh, you brought your own. Yeah, baby. Nice. Look Sweet. at this. You could live out of this thing. Oh, yeah. Look. Ah. Man's food. There she is. Let's go check this out. What do you say? Uh -oh. I don't know. You have two choices. You can go to the restaurant or the brew pub. I say the brew pub. Oh, yeah. The gig. Please use other door. But we were just over there. <laughs> Look at this couch. Is that a real? Is that a real cow? It is. I better wash my hands. Hey, get away from that thing. <laughs> Look at this. Feels like I'm at a Disney World type resort thing. Oh, I seen that cow, the skiing cow before too. The flying cow. Look at this. Look at this place, huh? Oh, better hurry up or they'll kick us out of here. You're not, you're not, I'm not gonna drink. I'm not gonna drink a beer. I gotta drive. You're gonna drink. That's your bowl right there. Oh, it's empty as usual. <laughs> well, I just want I a beer. <laughs> you have no shed. No, we have. Um, let's see. We have a nice porter. I think that's probably your closest. And we make all this in in house. I know, but I thought this was the shed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we drove here. This was the destination. Did oh well. Did it say it on Google? Uh, kind of. <laughs> I was gonna say that's very old school. That's back uh, in the day it was. Yes, I know. Darcy, the beer was awful, and it's not the right place. What the? And no. You had one anyway. But I has kind of committed. The lady's like, oh, we don't have the shed here anymore. And then I said, but this is where I I drove here. But there was these nice people from Cape Elizabeth. Bye, nice people from Cape Elizabeth. Bye. They were super cool. I never met them. Yeah, you don't want to. They're from Cape Elizabeth. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Cape Elizabeth. Yes, the high rent district. But anyways, um, yeah, they said that it's not the shed. Stop trying to be the star of my movie. I'm just a hunger hunger. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, we're going to go up the street. There is a fail safe, which in the video... Throw some comments down in the comment section. Um, it's called The Alchemist, and they make heady topper. So get ready for a heady. We're gonna go check that place out. This place is way better. Way better than what? The place we were just at. How do you know we haven't even been in yet? Yeah, because I've been into this place and they actually do make beer here. It's not just like some place that says they make it. Where do they make the Coke? Inside. I'll show you. Come with me. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Coming in. Mm, smell, smells like hops. Look at this place, huh? What do you think? And then there's like a semi truck up there. 
do. What do you think of this? What do you think? Uh, I, I Smells can't. good, huh? I, I need a Hey, water. are you the alchemist? Yes, we are. Not, no, you are. Yeah, I am. Right on! <laughs> Only 7% alcohol in it. Yeah, for a, baby! For a pint. I might be able to handle that. Yeah, sure. We got all the beer loaded up. You ready, bud? I'm ready. Rip it. Look at this wind. Yeah. We Is love your the bike done charging up? Oh, God. You got it plugged into the solar panels? It's not a moron's bike. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Let's go home. Yep. Come on, it smells amazing. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, got some good beer and we're going to be heading home. Hope you've enjoyed this trip. The sun is now starting to set, so it's been a nice long ride. Probably the last one of the season. Throw some comments down in the section below and tell, let me know what you think about it. I love making the videos and most importantly, please ride safe.